Chapter 15 Mr Bamble has a visitor Mr Bamble now come into the story again Mr Bamble who had been master of the poor house when Oliver was there still held that high position but now he was a most unhappy man the cause of his unhappiness was his wife whom he had married recently Mrs Bamble had been the matron in the poor house she had seemed to mr bamble a timed and obedient woman that was before he had married her how she had changed after the marriage mr bamble was afraid of her sharp tongue he was frightened of her heavy hand mrs bamble often beat her husband as he had beaten the boys mr bamble's life was now a miserable one Mr Bamble was sitting alone in his room at the poor house when a visitor came in this was a tall dark man with a red scar on his left cheek his clothes were covered with dust as if he had traveled a long way he stronger looked into the passage to see if anybody was there he closed the door carefully then he said I have come here for something information. I shall pay you well for it. He threw some gold coins on the table saying, "Here take these. You will have more if you can help me." At the sight of the gold, Mr. Bamble's eyes shone. He quickly picked the coins up and put them into his pocket. Can you remember 12 years ago, 12 years last winter? When a boy was born here the stranger asked many boys were born then mr bamble told him this boy was pale and thin i frightened looking boy you sent him to work for a coffin maker he did not work there long but run away oh you mean oliver twist i remember him very well the boy little wretch he was the boy who asked for more he I don't want to hear about him. I want to know something about his mother. Where is the old woman who was there when she died? She died about 3 months ago. The stranger seemed pleased to hear this. He turned to leave. Mr. Bamber did not want him to leave so soon. He hoped to get more money out of him. Don't go yet, he said. I have remembered something else. Tell me quickly. Mr. Bamble was with the old woman when she died. She told my wife something about the young woman, Oliver's mother. What asked the stranger anxiously? I don't know. You will have to talk to my wife. She can tell you. She has the young woman's locket. What's inside it? two locks of hair and a wedding ring with the name agnes on it bring here to me when tomorrow at 9 in the evening i will be waiting for you here said the stranger as with shaking fingers he wrote an address on a piece of paper see that she brings that locket with her i will pay her well and you keep your mouth shut do you hear the stranger locked so filled that mr bamble was frightened we will be there he said looking at the address what name shall we ask for monks replied the stranger then he hurried away